Oh, you're gonna regret that one, Derek. Hello, and welcome to the Spoken Wheel Show. And today we are doing the holiday special. Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, New Year, Boxing Day, my birthday, his birthday, you name it, we're doing it all. Because in the theme of holidays, we're doing a gift exchange. Wait, you're doing a gift exchange? I have something for you guys. Oh no. Oh dear. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna say thank you. It's in a box of maybe Boxing so, Day theme. Boxing Day theme. Let's 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 have Ooh, a look. Let's take a look. So open the top. Whoa! Penguin! Man, this is expensive. Wow. Matching. Look at that. Wow. So Gordon Murray would be proud. This maybe is... maybe you guys would like to pause and put them on for the show. Oh no. Oh, no. A few moments later. Thanks to editing, we're now wearing the same shirt. So, I have a gift for you. Really? It's this. Nice. I have a gift for you as well. Oh, really? Right. Oh, well, we're, we're breaking everything on the set. I agree. Now, let's what do we think is in here? I don't know. What could it be? Good question. All right, let's, let's open take them. a look. Let's open them. Scissors, Joey? Yes. Come on, Joey. Just rip it open. No, you're gonna what are you going to do? You're going to reuse it? Cameraman saying Come on. Hey, this is not going well. Wow, thank you, Joey. A big wow. I thought because you have skills in this. Like, I thought, well, I thought because you had skills and you thought you wanted to. Oh my, my we have the same gift. Joey. I mean, they say car enthusiasts think alike. Joey. I thought you wanted to learn about the engine, you know. I, I, that was my idea. And I thought I'd let you build one because you actually do how an engine work. Well, thank you. So, I guess we're going to build why these engines. Why don't we do a contest? Alright, let's hold it Who up. can build it first? Hold it the other way. Why? We can show well, people because, what's because, because you have this. So here's the box. I'm just going to remove it. Alright, box is gone, Derek, if you want to. Okay, boxes are gone. Okay. Um, duck. We have tape. Oh, more tape. We have tape. tape. Cut. Just rip it, Joey. And then we have... Ah! We have instructions, but the goal of this is we're not going to do this with the instructions because I always talk Joey, about how I don't Joey, know about cars, and he talks about how he knows about cars. So we're going to see how can we go with no instructions, assuming we end up... Oh my, there's, there's quite a few parts. Quite a few. This is scary. Oh, bubble wrap. We love bubble, bubble wrap. wrap. Why can't we... Because we're supposed to test no. our automotive knowledge. You... Uh. These are like belts, I'm assuming. I don't really know. Uh, if you are a professional engine builder, uh, I'm curious if this is accurate at all. Oh, it is made of rubber. Maybe. Uh, see, there's so many belts, I don't know what they do. You can't use the instructions. Can't use them until we're done with the show. That's like making something to eat without a recipe. Yes, because a good chef doesn't need a recipe. It's gonna turn out wrong. So, it's a Prius engine. So yeah, for those wondering, it is a four-cylinder engine powered by a battery. It's a hybrid. So, um, this is how the Prius engine is made, if you were ever wondering. This You're is the fan, thing. you know, in the front of the car, you have a little fan that spins and cools it, apparently. So this is apparently. Apparently, well, they don't just put fans on cars for no reason. These look like headers. No. No, these look like headers. These look like headers. Yeah. Unless the exhaust. Oh, don't tell me we have to do the transmission. No. Then why are the gears? Engine. Joey, like gears? engines have gears. This is not going to go well. Did not know engines have gears. Ah! This is where like the cylinder thingies go and then they ignite with the spark plug and fuel. And then, oh my, I just assembled it. And they make the engine work. That happens in here. It's called your, I don't actually don't know what that's called. Cylinder block. Cylinder block. That's called the cylinder block. I knew that. Now for those who are wondering, those if you were to compare us people in top gear, Derek, He's very much a James May. He understands how cars work and he's very diligent and elegant, let's just say. I'm Mr. Clarkson. I like speed and power. And I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Whoa, these are our spark plugs. And you plug them into a headphone port. Interesting. Now, when you build an engine, Derek, you build it from the inside out? A bit. Oh, no. I almost lost the screw. Yeah. I physically put the cylinder together. Really? Who would have thought? Now you tell me. Now this is a four-cylinder engine. How? Because really? it has four holes. Really? With the cylinders. 
the, the, the Ferrari and Mercedes AMG always brag about their handmade engines. Well, these are handmade engines. Oh, yes. Is that all you've done? <laughs> yes. I built this one little cylinder. So, see, because I don't know anything, I'm self teaching. It's like um, problem based math. Because you can see it's you working here. Because you don't know anything, you don't learn anything. They all look the same. Ooh! Ooh! It's working! Probably engine builders would be organized, but we're not going to do that step. Very, very tiny screw. The but thing is, it's very simple. It's all common sense. Everyone knows how to assemble an engine, as long as you see it as an engine. And you use the instructions, which we're not using. So have, as you can see, viewers, I've what? got the oil pan assembly and the crankshaft assembly, as long as the beginnings of the top of the cylinders assembled already. Oh no, if we're using the wrong screws all along and then we have to redo the whole thing. Well, you do, because I know which screws you use. I'm using the silver one. Right, they're that's... all silver. Well, he's trying to describe what he is trying to do, which he's not doing. I've assembled the cylinder block on top here. Uh, all the cylinders, cylinders blocks, as, you can see, as you can see uh, here, they are uh, seeming to be fine. Now, what's next would have to be the camshaft system, which does seem a bit of a problem because someone doesn't want to use the instructions. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna. Oh! And what's interesting with this engine is see through. Now, why car manufacturers don't build see through engines? Not exactly sure. You look like you have a reason for that. Is there a reason they don't build see through engines? Well, Joey, what kind of material would you use? To have it see through? Glass. Ah, yes, glass. Now, what is the temperature that glass melts at? Oh. Um, plastic. Now, which one would you rather have in your engine? Plastic or glass? Glass. Oh, no! It's upside down. Oh, this is easy. Oh, this is going to be an easy cover. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, you can't look at mine. That is considered cheating. You should just be complete. It's not a test. Cheating is a way of doing something. So I am doing it. Did these all correlate specifically, these individual pieces? Yep. So there's a specific order I need them in? Yes. I just kind of did it randomly. There, there's, a certain, there's a specific order in which they need to be in. Let's ignore that. Oh, knowledge. oh, oh. Yes, hallelujah, thank God. This is like watching a two-year-old put two Lego pieces together and be surprised. No! My camshafts have been disheveled. I mean, I am about five minutes behind him, but if you count how efficiently I'm doing this, I'm not really having to think hard, I'm just using him. It's working. I could be an uh, engine builder for Racing Point F1. That's how they did it last year. Regret that one, Derek. No! Yes. No! Yes. No! Yes. No! Ah! No! Yes. No! <laughs> There's pieces just randomly falling out, and I don't know where they're coming from. They say slow down to go fast. I say understand what you're doing to go fast. So we proved here you don't need to know how to build an engine to build an engine. Don't worry. I will be just fine. Everything will. Turn out hopefully. Oh, I'm right. sure it will, Derek. I'm sure it will. My fingers are sore from all the screwing. Oh, my genius. So you see, you have these holes, and essentially you can poke the stick through. But to get it out, you have this little piece of paper. Normally you go with your hand and kind of fiddle about. What I've done is you take the stick, kind of poke at it, and it goes right through. Easy. How did you get your head gasket in? Oh, well. It's a piece of paper. I don't think this does anything, quite frankly. No, it's very important. Really? It's vital. Oh dear. He has had a straight through. Oh my god. It's a miracle. Not happy. Lamborghini Aventador. There you go. So while I was explaining to you how I'm so brilliant about the way I do the valves, I have to remove them. No, it doesn't even fit! Why? Da! Ah! You know what, we're gonna skip all the steps of the screws, because that's what screwed me up. 
I'm officially gonna give up. No, you won't. I I don't know what to do here. That means you forfeit. That means I you forfeit. forfeit. He wins. You can't. Congratulations. I Wait, you've been looking at the instructions the whole time. No, just the picture of the book. You said we can't use the instructions. I'm not using the instructions. I'm looking at the picture of it. Why are there 3,000 different belts? All right, so clearly this has taken way longer. Well, due to some unfortunate problems without using the instructions and screwing up. It's taken quite a long time. It's taken quite a long time. It's getting darker. It's getting um, a lot darker. And the sun is sadly now has set. Uh, pretty much. The fire has been put out behind us. That, yeah. That explains how long it's being taken. As you can see, I am actually almost done a bit, but um, he... No. That, so that's that, that is his... Answer to that. So we will be getting back to this on some time. Hopefully, hopefully in time. In time. In time. Well, it won't be, but much time. Yeah. So um, uh, we'll cut to when we both have engines completed. Yes. So let's cut to that right now. Hello. You might see that the background has changed. As a matter of fact, it's changed quite a bit. It is now nighttime. Three days later. No, it didn't take me three days to do the engine. It took me only two days. To Taken three days to do the engine. It was painful though, and a I painful, did complete it. Full three days. Now you might be saying, where are the engines? Well, here they are. Now, let me take you on a little tour of the engine so you understand the components. Although he should probably do it since he understands how an engine works. Let's just see what you have to say. Okay. Explain your automotive knowledge. Okay. So we have right here the fan bit. It spins, there's a little belt that spins to another thing. Um and that connects to some plastic bits. Here you have what would be the headers. Um, they're they're kind of broken because when I went to disassemble it, they wouldn't come out. So I had to chop them with pliers to get it out. Ignore that bit. For those wondering why I had to chop them with pliers, I had to reassemble this thing four times. Not once, not twice, four What's times. What's that? You're telling me I did this once. Once, once, assembled it together once. I might have disassembled some few parts to get things done, but I did once in one day. You did it four times to build it right. Four times. Yeah, and three, four. And three of those I was using the instructions. Here we have the carburetor, even though normally carburetors are much bigger on the top as you've seen in your Cadillacs, but it's a mini carburetor. A carburetti. Carburetti. Yeah, kind of works. Yeah. This is like kind of your headers, but apparently it's an intake. Um, well, I thought the carburetor does fuel, so I'm a bit confused on that. Um, moving to the back, this is where your transmission would go in. Um, you got like a clutch thingy and a flywheel. And then this um, is your wires for your spark plugs, which we'll get onto. Now, if you're wondering what's powering the engine, it's this little battery case that looks like a coffin in some board game. It is actually- When, when they went and found King Tutankhamun's tomb, this is exactly what they sound, and probably about 300 times the size of this. <laughs> now, inside of King Tut's tomb, <laughs> they did find, actually, two batteries. Inside King Tut's tomb, we can open it. it well, actually, it doesn't really open. Ah, there we go. And you have two Duracell AA batteries. Well, now, I Duracell... Don't, I, I don't have Duracell. Well, why does, Duracell, my tomb, why does my tomb have alkaline GP batteries? Well, if Alkaline GP batteries would like to sponsor us, please click here. If email Duracell, this email. If, if Duracell, Duracell would like to click over here and sponsor me, we could have a spike battery war. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll see which one works best. Now, to close it, you just kind of do that. Now, you could gracefully close it and give it a nice click. Mm -hmm. Or you could just do my strategy of just rapidly turning. Well, yeah, it kind of falls. The hinge isn't very strong. Or you could rapidly turn it like this. But you wouldn't want to. Look at that. Keeps it You're disturbing King Tut. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Well, right. you see, it is very fun to do it this way. And at that very moment, he broke the entire thing. <laughs> and we're gonna hold on, we're, we're gonna, gonna come back. back. We're gonna take a cut to find that battery. So now we're alone. You can see that his is a bit looking the same as mine, because they're the same engine. But Need you not forget, it took him four times the amount of time it took me. Now, what he was talking about, these pe bits and pieces, um, of course, you have the fan, you have uh, the water pump up there, uh, headers on the side, you have the intake panel. You have I some found sort it! Of... No, you didn't. Yep. No, you didn't. Uh, I'm literally staring Oh, at God. Him. What? Here, th throw it to me. One eternity later. The battery seems to be bent. <laughs> Wait, seriously? A bit, but still, 
the battery has been retrieved, and as I was saying, uh, you have a bit of a spy transmission which hooks up to your two batteries. Uh, they are... All right. Oh no, it really is. Ah! Oh no! And this is what happens when you put a battery in the wrong way. I told you I understand how mechanics work. Now, we are going to fire up our engines, and we're going to do a synchronized fire up and an individual. Prepare for the symphony. First, we need to plug in the spark plugs, because the cool part is... It's got spark... Well, they're actually like glow plugs, actually. Yeah. But well, they're... which is a bit confusing. But if I uh, unplug this little guy, you can see... Well, I don't know if you can see, but it's yellow. And the idea is it represents which cylinder is being used, even though it's actually not it's... accurate to what is being used. All right. All right so now... Do you start it up, you take the, very noisy, take the cord coming from the back thing and the you plug it into the battery. This... Alright. No, my boat! <laughs> what is happening? Now, see, it see, seems that cylinder number one just likes it, to well, be like a no, woodpecker. Because, see, I like old cars. Now, see, it's like when you're starting an old car, and you don't have enough carburetor fluid in it, and you got to... like me to get you some carburetor fluid? Oh, no, I don't think it's going to... It is electric, by the way. You got the fan, which spins the belt, and then inside, some magic happens. Because I don't want to listen to Joey... Working again. It started. Oh, it's having a bit of a hiccup. Oh, it's going again. <laughs> it's, uh, ah! A bit of a hiccup. A bit? No, I don't think it worked. I Imagine you started up your Cadillac and it made this noise. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I started up my car and it made this noise, then I'm assuming something must be terribly wrong. I guess to wrap things up, we it, could say... Say what? That I'm unquestionably the more qualified engine builder. No. Now, here's my conclusion to the engine builders out there. If you are an engine builder, and you build an engine that works unlike him, and you do it without the instructions, I have a little bit more respect for you. If like you are an me. engine builder that builds an engine that only three of the four cylinders work, and it doesn't quite work without the instructions. Like him, I've lost a little bit of respect for you. And if you are an engine now, builder... Now, if you're an engine builder... Hold on. Hold on. And if you Hold are an, on. If you're an engine builder who had taken it four times to assemble the engine with the instructions in hand, then I have absolutely no respect and complete utter disregard for you. Unlike me, who had no instructions, had a time limit to fixate to, and I still completed the engine and it works. Unlike you, who spent it three bloody work. days trying to do nothing, disassembling and assembling with the instructions. Yes, but now I memorized how to do it. You got the plastic. Who's gonna memorize how to build a stupid oh, engine? Oh, you that forgot does to install nothing. your oil pan. Oops. Or plastic. Stand that because looks like that I modern art thing because... of an elephant. When you want to go hunting, I implore you to get this engine. It will scare every single one of whatever you're hunting away. But it will attract woodpeckers because woodpeckers make a noise like that. Now, I play this noise. And if you forgot what that noise sounded like... Oh, it's not noise. I'll save you the burden. So, on that note, if you do it without instructions, I've gained a little respect for you. Thank you. And if you... No, not you, because your engine doesn't work. No, mine does work. No, it, well, it doesn't so work like... properly. But if you do want to see anything more mechanical, let us know. You probably don't want to see anything, because this video is painful. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content to come. As always, I'm Joey. And I'm Derek, and thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time on The Spoken Wheel Show. Sure.